If conscience disapproves, the loudest applauses of the world are of little value. Liberty, once lost, is lost forever. I read my eyes out and can't read half enough neither. The more one reads the more one sees we have to read. Liberty cannot be preserved without a general knowledge among the people. You will never be alone with a poet in your pocket. Old minds are like old horses. You must exercise them, if you wish to keep them in working order. No man is entirely free from weakness and imperfection in this life. As much as I converse with sages and heroes, they have very little of my love or admiration. I should prefer the delights of a garden to the dominion of a world. To believe all men honest is folly. To believe none is something worse. Tyranny can scarcely be practiced upon a virtuous and wise people. Human passions unbridled by morality and religion would break the strongest cords of our constitution as a whale goes through a net. Go on and improve in everything worthy. The longer I live, the more I read, the more patiently I think, and the more anxiously I inquire, the less I seem to know, do justly, love mercy, walk humbly. This is enough. Defeat appears to me preferable to total inaction. The true source of our suffering has been our timidity. We have been afraid to think. Let us dare to read, think, speak, and write. Move or die is the language of our Maker and the constitution of our bodies. The smell of the midnight lamp is very unwholesome. Never defraud yourself of sleep, nor your walk. Friendship is one of the distinguishing glories of man. From this I expect to receive the chief happiness of my future life. To be good, and to do good, is all we have to do.